this is probably one of the more silly things that I've done in my 300ZX. And I, I don't abuse this car at all. But I turned down this dirt road onto this wildlife management area. And uh, the road turned out to be a little bit rougher than I imagined it would be. It's cleared up now. But I had to go through this place of the road had washed out a little bit. The front, bottom of the front bumper scraped a little bit. So I'm hoping that it's all smooth sailing from here. vehicles I'd just be blasting down this road in it this car I definitely try to treat nice and uh, yeah if I'd known this road was like this I wouldn't have come down here but I'm in it now I guess I'll see it to the end. I hope I still have a car when I get done. It's not rough. I mean, I've driven down roads that were way more rough than this, but it's also not a not very nice place to treat a low sports car. All right, well, we made it to the end of the road. So now, moment of truth. Take a look at this bumper. If I turn it around and look, I'll say that I probably scrape this bumper at least once a month somewhere, just driving it around town on rough roads. But we'll see what kind of damage was done. Hopefully it's not too bad. Well, it isn't. Actually, it might look like it's broken, but that was already broken. Looks like it just pushed this bumper back, which I need to get this fixed anyway. But yeah, it pushed that apart. But it was already broken. You can see it's got a metal plate under there holding it together anyway. That was like that when I got it. So, no major damage. And it doesn't look like any of the bottom of the car actually contacted the ground. It's just that low nose piece. So that's good, but man, I feel bad. I feel terrible right now. I don't abuse that car ever. But when you're on the hunt for something, it's either turn around and drive a long way to get an old car, another car. So I've got cars that I fly down that road in, and it would not do any damage to like the Wagoneer gone to the shop and picked that up but oh well it's done now and it's introduction time you're watching sidestep adventures i'm robert that's cody we're out on an exploration 
and we're actually going to go explore an old barn up here that I know about. And we'll see you there. We got a little ways to walk now since the gate was closed. I don't know why the road couldn't have been like this, the drive down. It's absolutely beautiful land out here. This all used to be a farm at one time, hence there being a barn here. And now it's a wildlife management area. But it's just absolutely gorgeous. We should just walk down the whole road. Started out cold this morning. Winter came back for another visit. Got down to freezing or almost freezing last night and warmed up very nicely today. It's beautiful little dots of purple in that field. Hope you can make it out on camera. All right, so as we walk through this field and hope we don't step on a rattlesnake, coming up on this old barn right here, which I thought was pretty cool. I've seen it before. The last time I came down here and looked at it, the road wasn't that rough. I love barns, and they're really cool. This barn is, oh, there's a buzzard living up top. I don't know if you heard him or not. He made it known that he's here. Anyway, this barn is post-1880. It's constructed using round nails. Also the tin siding on it tells us that too. If I had to guess, I would think maybe 1920s or 1930s barn. Still got a feed trough right here made out of wood. I don't know what's on it now. I don't know what that is either. And just a cool old barn. A little side door right here. Let's see if it still functions. It sure does. That's definitely newer. And if you look at the ground, these are really cool. I think. Used to see these when I was a kid and was so interested in them. Little doodle bug holes. I think there's another term for them. I forgot the actual name for them, but you get a stick and disturb them and say doodle bug, doodle bug, come out of your hole or something like that and they start kicking dirt back up at you. And it didn't work that time and I'm not going to mess up their home any more than I already am by stepping on them. But that's what they do if you've never seen one before. They're really neat and it takes me back to when I was a kid and I used to see those. There's the stairs up to the loft. There's not much left. But we'll take a look anyway. Well, it didn't collapse. At least. It hasn't collapsed yet. That would suck. I don't know if you can see it or not. There's a buzzard over there at the other end. He's probably got a nest up here. We're gonna make a nest up here. Other thing is interesting is I believe that those are wood shingles. Maybe not. Yeah, that might be wood shingles up there. 
could be mistaken. It's kind of hard to tell. They're in really bad shape. Here they are wood shingles and I'm going to date the barn a little bit earlier. There's a buzzard. He's angry at me because I'm up here where his nest is. But I just wanted to show you the loft and hope like heck I don't fall. Alright, time to get back down without this old structure giving away. Alright, back down on solid ground. That's someone's glow stick. There's not really a whole lot to see here. Walk out back and show you the other side of it. But I just like barns. So I wanted to film it. Because who knows how much longer it'll be out here. Before time takes its toll. Look at the way the tree's grown up under the barn right there. There used to be a barn at my grandma's house. I loved it when I was a kid. And again, a beautiful field out here surrounding the barn. Pretty cool. Oh look, there's a bird's nest up there on the other side, right there if you can see it. It's probably new. So one of the other times that I came out here and looked at the barn, I thought there's got to be a house to go with the barn. If there's a farm out here, you know, where did they live? Now granted, they could have lived a long way away and just had a farm here. But I don't think that was the case. And I got to look into the landscape and you can see little indications of where there might have been a house. And so I noticed this. And I thought this was just something put up by the wildlife management area. But looking at it a little bit closer, I think this actually might have been the farmhouse. I'll show it to you, and you tell me what you think. Now this concrete pour right here it looks new. I want a lizard. And obviously, oh cool, geocache. Let's take a look and see if there's anything in there. Nope. Oh, nothing at all. Anyway, so I was looking at this one time when I came out here and looking at this chimney right here it looks like to me this doesn't look like a chimney that was just built outside it looks like one that was originally in a house because of the design it's got the intricate design right there and a mantelpiece place right there I think this wood is just a new addition. So I think it's my guess that this was the side of the house and of course all this new structure is probably built for the hunting out here. Although that chimney's not very high it just looks like there's more to it than just standing outside and burning some stuff. So tell me what you think. Was this the house to go along with the barn? Or was this just a chimney that was built outside? There's an opening on the back of it, so that may be some kind of clue for us. Never really seen that on an old house before. All right, I hope you enjoyed this little adventure out here. Now I've got to walk back to the car and hope I can make it back out of here without destroying the car.
which I think I'll be able to. It's not, it's not that bad, but it is bad because I'm in the little sports car. I'm gonna stop whining about that now, though, and it'll be all right. It's not that low. As long as it's not dragging like the oil pan or anything, we'll be good. And I'll try not to hit the bumper again. All right, we'll see you on the next one.